No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, do that. So I'd choose the traditional side, I guess. My friends would describe me as quite crazy. So he'd always explain to me before um, before the scene like what some things meant and just help me on the spot. So he made me cry. Uh, it's not that alien. Hello to all the viewers from India Glitz. You're watching Lata Hegde, the actress of um, Tuntari. So keep tuned. So this film actually happened so out of the blue for me. I was basically in New Zealand that time and I got an offer from uh, an agent from this production and I couldn't, I didn't believe that it was true when it first happened because I'd never done a movie before or I wasn't, um, I didn't do much modeling as well. So the way that it came through to me, I just couldn't believe that it's true. So then I found out through my relatives and family friends in Hyderabad that the project is real. So then I came down and they did a look test and then they confirmed me. So yeah, it's been <laughs> quite a ride. Uh, to be honest, no, I'd never thought of becoming an actress or acting in a movie. I'd just done Miss India New Zealand, which is a beauty pageant. And from there, this just happened so suddenly that I didn't even get time to think of this. No, I have no such reservations about language. Um, I really enjoyed doing this film and I myself am a South Indian, so I love South Indian films. <laughs> Yep, so I've basically been brought up in New Zealand because I moved when I was just seven years old and I did all my schooling there, so yeah. Yep, um, modeling prior to starting your acting um, career really, really helps because I wasn't so scared of the camera. I knew... Um, you know how to be in front of the camera so that helped me a lot so I just could focus on you know delivering dialogues and um, emotions properly rather than starting from scratch so it does help a lot uh, my role is of a simple next-door neighbor sort of a girl and she's very decent she's a family girl and so the thing about her is she's really really crazy about sports but she's not very good at it. She wants to become a tennis player, but she's, <laughs> she's not really good. So she has an attraction towards uh, guys who are really good at sports as well. So that's how she falls in love with the um, lead character, Rohit. Yep, um, <laughs> that I'm also not very good at sports. <laughs> Yeah, Rohit is really down to earth and he's just a really, really nice guy. So it was really, really nice working with him. He always helped me out on set because I couldn't speak the language. So he'd always explain to me before, um, before the scene like what some things meant and just helped me on the spot. So I just loved working with him. He's really good. Yeah, uh, it's not that alien because I speak Canada, so I could pick it up quite fast. Um, I want to try uh, make a debut in Canada because I can speak the language, so I feel that I would be able to act well in my own language. So let's see how that goes. But um, yeah, so after the release, I'll just see how things go and then decide. Um, I don't have such a like a thought process where I'm thinking I want to do more movies or I want to do this. I just see what comes to me and if it's good, then I'll take it. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, do that. So I'd choose the traditional side, I guess. My friends would describe me as quite crazy and talkative. I'm, I'm a neat freak 
a clean freak, so I always want everything to be in the right place. So I have like a OCD or something, what they call it. Yeah, I'm pretty friendly, quite normal. <laughs> Yes, and um, I have a really huge passion for animal animals. So in the future, I'd um, want to open up a shelter or something in India to help out animals. I'm a part of um, Safe in New Zealand, which helps out animals and it's against animal cruelty. So that would be my future plan as well. Uh, I'm not sure. Like. Like I said, um, I don't plan these things. If something good comes my way, then I'll take it. Uh, acting is much more, um, like I love acting much more than modeling. So yeah, if, you, if I had to choose between acting or modeling, then acting for sure. Um, I guess there's so much more life, uh, you know, you're playing a character. So you, you know, in a, in a modeling sort of a thing, you're just a picture, right? And whereas when you act, you come to life. So I guess people want to act more <laughs> than model. And no, no, um, unfortunately, I can't speak Telugu. I'm learning now, so... Someone else is dubbed for me, but hopefully in future movies or something I can dub for myself. Uh, there was a lot of funny incidents, but to remember one as such, I had a dance um, choreographer called uh, Baba Baskar, sir, and he was just always cracking jokes on me and he used to always just tell me in the middle that, you know, just go back to New Zealand, you can't dance properly and this and that. Like, he made me cry, but at the same time, he was really nice and he'd just always make jokes on the set. So he was probably a highlight of uh, shooting for my movie. Yeah. Yeah, um, Kumar sir, is, his working style is really good because he's a very calm person and he doesn't get stressed out very easily. So even on like the most stressful situations, he'd be really calm and always encourage me. And being a first timer, I'm so lucky and blessed to work with a director like Kumar sir. So this movie is great and it's it's got everything in it it's packed with comedy fantasy elements um emotion like there's a serious fight sequence as well so um it's suitable for everyone to watch as well like families uh young people so go to the cinemas and do watch this movie it releases tomorrow on march 11th and i promise that you'll love this Marie, I'm going to go to the internet. Mar, 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 mar,